Tips. I'm Stephen. I'm Fern. And let's check out what's coming up on today's show. You'll be bowled over when we show you how to make one of these colourful bowls without any painting. Find out what's mystic about Food Fingertips Mystic Muffins. They're tasty and they hold a surprise. And we show you how to have boogie boarding fun without any water. For all the details on the makes, you can replay this programme whenever you feel like it. Look at our website or grab a pen and paper and jot it down straight away. Fern, say toast five times. Toast, 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 toast. OK, what do you put into a toaster? I have toast. Ah, no, it's bread, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, actually, on fingertips, it's not even bread that you put into a toaster. <laughs> oh. Sorry. See, on our fingertips toaster, we put CDs and DVDs. And look how cool this is. It's even got a little lever to pop up your DVDs just like a real toaster. And the CD version works in just the same way. All you do is pop them up and choose which one you want to listen to. It's really impressive, isn't it? And would you believe the fingertips toaster rack started out as a simple shoebox? So, if you fancy making the fingertips toaster rack, take your shoebox, thank you, Fern, and you also need a lid to a smaller shoebox as well. Place this face up inside the box and push it towards the back because you want to make sure this is securely stuck to your shoebox with lots and lots of sticky tape. And it really does need to be securely down because this is going to make a sort of hinge. Let's just put one more bit on there. This will make a hinge and this has to hold the weight of your CDs and DVDs. Then get yourself a cocktail stirrer or a wooden lolly stick and stick it to the middle of the smaller lid. Again with a bit more sticky tape there. And we'll just put one more bit on just there as well. And then cut a slit at the front of your box and take that bit out. So this way your lever can move up and down, like that. There you go, Fern. Thank you, Steve. Now you need to cut out ruler-sized strips of cardboard and you want to stick them across your box. So you want to stick them inside the front of your box, just there, and over this side of the back of your box. Then take your DVD and measure the width of the distance in between each strip. And then you can just stick the next one in just there and keep going until you fill up the whole box being careful not to cover over this strip here and then you'll have some lovely little toaster pockets and now to make the actual rack of your toaster take the lid of your big shoe box and just cut off the ends and then flatten it out like this and make a ruler width border all the way around the edge and on one side you want a double ruler thickness so let's just add another line here like that and this part you are going to fold over the front of your toaster just there in just a second. But first, you need to make the slots that your DVDs or CDs are going to go in. So, this is really easy. All you do is make a mark either side of your DVD and just join up the dots like this. Then, get a ruler width in between that. And again, make another couple of dots either side there and there. Join the dots up and keep doing this all the way along until you've got to the end and then cut out the slots in between. And once you've cut it out, it'll look like this. Just stick it to your shoe box. Just stick this section here. That's a bit which is two ruler widths wide. And then you want to curve it over to give it a nice round toaster look. Get another piece of card which will reach the bottom of your shoe box. Stick that in place just there. And then push your card down and stick it right the way down to the bottom of your shoe box. There we go. And it's really starting to come together. It certainly is. And to neaten up your toaster, turn it on its end and draw around onto a piece of card. Cut out two of these shapes and stick one there and one there. Now, this just hides any gaps that you may have. Now, you could do what we've done and stick on a paper plate, cut round it, stick it in place, and this just makes it look more funky. Check that out. Looks good, doesn't it? 
Yep, and now you can either paint it or you could cover it in coloured card. And then add extra detail like a temperature control just made from a milk carton lid. So if you'd like to make yourself a fingertips toaster rack, just check out the fingertips website. Click on top make and all the details will be there. We'll give the address at the end of the show. But now have a look at these. How about making a shiny version, one of my favourites, just covering it in mirror card to really turn up the heat. So store your favourite DVDs or CDs in the latest up to the minute top of the range fingertips toaster rack. Got a minute? Yes, this is the part of the programme where we show you how to make something in under a minute using bits and pieces you can find around your home. Now today is my turn to make. And it's my turn to time. And this is all it takes. Peg, rather intriguing, isn't it? Not a lot of stuff. No. And as always, we're not going to tell you what it is. You're going to have to try and guess as we go along. This is going to be quite a tricky one. You ready? OK, don't put pressure on me, Steve. <laughs> ready? Thank you. Here we go. On your marks. Get set. Go! OK, piece of card. Fold long ways. Like this? Why are you laughing at me already? I'm laughing because this will be the first time she's actually done it in a minute if she does it right. So we've got ten seconds of gone. <laughs> okay, now I need to do some intricate, cut, intricate cutting. Start about here. Ooh. Need to kind of make a sweeping curved little bit there and then just go down to the corner about there. Nice now. done. Clue, Open clue. Up. Look at the shape. The shape. Yes, the shape is a giveaway. Ooh. Need to fold over. 30 seconds of gone. Half oh, a minute. No. Okay. Bit of glue there. Bit of glue. Nicely done. That's not on the table. <laughs> Come on. Uh, nearly 40 seconds. Up, right. <laughs> okay, now I need to fold it in half. Fold that Ooh. back there. Turn over. Fold in half there. Open You've out. normally gone past this. 46 seconds have gone. I'm okay, I'm okay. I feel like I'm on target still. That's not sticking. That's 50 seconds have gone. The target okay. has gone out the window. <laughs> 53 seconds. Will she do it? Oh! And and stop! Oh! 58 seconds. Come on, tell them what it is. Okay, it's a little known <laughs> dinosaur, not a pegasaurus. Yes, a pegasaurus, not a stegosaurus. That's <laughs> what I was looking for. And look, you can hook them onto anything. Let's pop it on there, tighten that up, and watch him bob up and down. Look Pretty at great. that. And you can make your pegasaurus soar by making it into a mobile. You can get them to hold messages, or even a dinosaur snack. The Pegasaurus. It'll only take a minute to make. So why don't you give it a go and try and beat the clock? This is Little Fingertips, the part of the programme where we show you how to make something, recycling stuff, you'd probably find from around your house. And today, we're making these beautiful bowls. Any style you want, any design you desire. How about this fishy bowl? Now you'd imagine to make a bowl this beautiful you'd need loads of paint, different paint brushes and hours of work. Wrong, because there's no painting involved whatsoever. All you need is a plastic bowl, some different coloured scraps of paper and some glue. First, get your plastic bowl and turn it upside down. Now here's a fingertips top tip. If you place your bowl on top of another one or a pot, it's easier to work on because you can turn it as you're working. Then get your PVA glue and just spread a nice layer all over the top and sides of your bowl. Then tear up some shapes of fish in some silver and gold paper, any size you want, big or small, and place them so the shiny side is facing downwards because this bowl is inside out. Then get some green pieces of card in the shape of weed shapes and just place those on top and then get some bits of tissue paper in green and blue this gives a nice oceany colour so just stick those all over the top and put some more layers of PVA glue over that and do this until you've covered the whole thing now when you have don't worry if you can see through it a little bit because the next layer is going to be white just get some squares of white paper and some PVA glue and again Coat it all over the top and keep going until there are no gaps. And once you have covered the whole thing, you need to give it an extra few layers of newspaper just to give it a bit of strength. Now it's time to decorate the outside of it. And as I promised, there would be no painting, so I'm going to stick to that. You want to get some little squares of wrapping paper, any pattern at all that you like, and then just start gluing them on. But this time, you want the pattern facing towards you because this is the outside of your bowl. Keep covering the whole thing and leave it to dry. 
And if you leave it somewhere warm, it will speed up this process and then you're ready to pop out your bowl. This is the best bit. It just pops out. Oh, look at that. Beautifully. And once you've trimmed the edge, there you have it. An incredible inside-out bowl with a smooth finish and inbuilt decoration. And check out these other designs. You could be bowled over by your favourite footy team. Well, how about making a pop star's pot? They make great presents, they're useful for keeping your bits and bobs in, and they're a doddle to do. Very interesting. If you want to know your future, I'll cross my palm with Silver Boy. What will this do? No, Stephen, it won't do. You're supposed to give me some money now. Give me some money. So sorry, sir. Be short at the minute. Hang on. Will you set up for 10p? Oh. You will meet a young, beautiful blonde. She's a very good cook among her many other talents. Ah. But tell me about my future. My Your future. fate is in the cakes. My destiny's in the dough. Seek out the mystic muffins and all will be revealed. Yep, that's right. These are mystic muffins. And this is Food Fingertips, the part of the programme where we show you something that's fun to make and great to taste. And these muffins are a chocolate chip. And you may be wondering why they're mystic. Well, hidden inside, there is a secret message wrapped in foil. Let's see where it is. I cannot wait to eat this, you know. There's the message! Let's unfold it and see what it says. You will become rich and famous. That'll do nicely. Now you can make up your own mystic messages or check out our website where there's some for you to download there. We'll give you the address at the end of the show. Now to make the mystic muffins you will need egg, sugar, butter, milk, self-raising flour and chocolate drops. And we'll give you these amounts as we go along. Now, in a bowl you want to mix uh, 50 grams of butter, also 40 grams of sugar, 100 millilitres of milk and also you want to add a drop of vanilla essence, in that goes, there we are, and one egg. Let's just pop that in there too. There we go. Then mix it in, like that, and to this you want to add your dry ingredients. Now in this bowl we have sieved 150 grams of self-raising flour and a pinch of salt. So that goes in too. Pop that in the bowl, and it goes, and now you want to actually Fold this mixture. Now, fold it by going around the bowl and down, around and down, and just keep going around and down until it looks like this. Then you want to add 100 grams of chocolate drops. In they all go. Mm -mm -mm. I'm doing my good stuff. That was all of them, was it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Give them a good mix once again. <laughs> there we are. And now you want to fill up your muffin cases. So let's get a good scoop. And first of all, you half fill it. There we go. And then you add your message. Now we've wrapped our messages in some tin foil to stop them from getting soggy and to stop people from eating them by mistake. So pop those into the middle of your muffin case. And then you cover up the message with more of the mixture. Just like that. Now, this mixture will actually make six normal size muffins, and when you've covered all of them, filled all your muffin cases, pop them in the oven for 30 minutes on gas mark six, 200 degrees Celsius. And once your muffins have cooled, just put some icing on the top, and then get some piping icing, and write on a nice big question mark, and this will add some mystery to your muffins. Look at that. So, there you have it. Fun in a bun with the fingertips, Mystic Muffins. Hey, Fern, I've only got another message. Yeah, so, right. hang on. Uh, take care, be careful. Well, what does that mean? Oh! This is Fun Fingertips, the part of the programme where we show you something that's fun to make and fun to do. <laughs> and this is Fingertips for Looney Boogie. Has all the skill and balance of riding the real waves, apart from you don't get wet at all. You can do all the moves without even having to leave your bedroom, as long as you've got... Some balloons and a tray. It's so good, isn't it? Now, the tray balances your weight evenly across the surface area of the balloons, and that means that the balloons won't burst. Cool, isn't it?
<laughs> now, to make your board, the first thing you need to do is get a tray and put it on a large piece of cardboard and draw all the way around it like that. Then round off the edges of your cardboard so you get a surfboard shape. And for your balloony board footholds, just cut out two ruler length pieces of card like this and then stick them in place. Now, make sure you stick them both in the tray lines because don't forget, this is the area that will hold all your weight. And now you can paint it. You may want to have a look at some surf magazines just to get some ideas. And this board here is anything but boring. Look, we've even stuck on these grippy feet. They're just made out of washing up sponges stuck in place. So you can hang ten in style. Then just plant some blooms and you're nearly ready to go. All you need is your surfboard and your tray. And you balance your tray on top of your blooms. Okay, here goes Steve. That's it. Go and then under. put your surfboard on top of this and then get a friend to help you balance. So, put my one foot there. Thanks, Fern. And Come one on, foot Steve. there. <laughs> oh, I'm on. <laughs> Go on, Sophie, Steve, now. See if you can break my record for staying on without wiping out, okay? I'm not doing too bad, you know. So why don't you give it a go? You'll be bloody boogieing in no time at all. Maybe even get one of your friends to give it a try. Put your balance to the test. Uh, Steve, Stevie, shock. Oh, yeah, like, so then I get off the board and then you say you stayed on the board the longest. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. Fingertips balloony boogie. The most fun you can have without real waves. <laughs> That's it for today's show. If you want to make anything from the programme, then why don't you check out the Fingertips website? The address is just there. And we'll see you next time for some more Fingertips. See ya. Bye. Five, four, three, two, one. Lift off. Hello and welcome to the DVD that has everything you've ever wanted to make and do right at your fingertips. Select one of the options on the screen and let's make and do.